Hey, what's going on everybody? The Fish Tank Guy here, and if you are watching this, that means that you guys voted in favor of me adding some vlogs to the channel. And uh, if you'll notice, I'm dressed and in the same exact place that I filmed the poll question, and that's because I'm actually gonna film a vlog now. So I was like, well, I should film the other video. Don't worry about it, everything's fine. Everything's fine, it's all under control. Uh, so what I'm doing today is I am, if you look back there, See this, my hand, there it is, right here. Back there, look at all this, look at all that. I'm gonna turn it around here so you guys can see it. But the cabbage leather has gotten out of control in my bio cube to the point where, let me see if I can flip this around. Am I able to do that while I'm filming? I don't know if I am, let me pause it. Maybe I'll, let me I'll try to pause it. So it looks like I can't pause it, so I'm gonna have to like cut and then flip the screen around. I can't believe I can't do that, right? But I'm gonna I'm gonna flip the screen around and then I'll continue talking and tell you guys what I'm uh, about to do here. Okay, so if you guys take a look at the cabbage leather, it looks really awesome, it's beautiful. Actually, in person, it's more pink than you're seeing in the video. But at the same time, if you start to look at the rest of the tank, it's struggling. If you look down here, the Kenya tree is uh, not full. The uh, Montiporas, they are kind of red, but they're mostly green. Even that section that's above is green. That underneath, I could understand that because it's basically in full shade. But then I have the awesome, incredible Hulk SPS coral here that most people said shouldn't grow in the bio cube. And you can't see it, but it has expanded all the way underneath the cabbage leather and the cabbage leather just grew right on top of it. So now it is uh, all bleached out and I would really like to see it. So what I'm going to try to do, and I don't know if I'm gonna film it or just show you the aftermath, I'm going to try to remove this entire chunk of cabbage leather from the aquarium. And I'll probably frag it off, I'll probably move it into another tank and then maybe sell it or trade it in for some in-store credit at a local fish store. Um, but I've never really done this before. I know it's gonna be a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna try to see what I can do and I will let you guys know how it works out. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I started doing here. As you can see here, um, this part of the coral is you know, full puffy. This part is starting to recede because I've started to pull it away from the rock. Here you see the SPS that started to bleach because it's uh, on top of it. And I feel bad about this, but I'm actually ripping the coral away from the rock. Let me see if I can get a view of this here. If you guys look here, see, I'm ripping it away and you're seeing like, um, almost like the blood kind of yee, of the coral. So what I think I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna end up pulling this piece of rock out and pulling it apart um, above the water because I need to hold on to the rock. Um, and then I'll see if I'm able to remove it all and then I'll see if I can move it to another tank. Okay, so I actually feel really bad about doing that. Oh, it was, it was brutal. Okay, so as you can see, I've removed most of it from the top of the rock. Uh, I'm not gonna go crazy with trying to remove all of it but um, I actually just placed it here for now. I'll be putting it in a small bucket and taking it downstairs. Trying to put it in some of my tanks on the fish tank tower just to make sure that it survives. I think it will, it's a pretty hardy coral. And there is a lot there, there is a lot of coral there. So I'll take a look from down here in the tank as you can see as I kind of pan back a little bit. The top is completely empty. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to remove some of this too because this part right here, this part and this part that's extending onto the glass, I wanna kind of compact that in a little bit, so I'm going to try to remove some of that as well. Um, but as you can see, the water is a little bit murky and cloudy, and that's kind of like, eh, I don't know, it's like the blood of the coral, right, that we like dropped into the water. Now, I did this on a day where I'm planning to do a water change, because I'm fairly certain that harming a coral like that, it's kind of giving off some toxins like in defense, right? It knows that it's being harmed. So I planned a water change today to help maybe subvert some of that so it doesn't harm the other coral in the tank and we'll see how that goes. So um, once I get these coral out of here and into the other tank, I'll take a brief video to show you guys what it looks like. And then I'll show you the top of this after I have it cleaned up. I do a water change and the tank looks a little bit nicer. I'll also try to take out the side here. So I'll be back in, uh, well, two seconds your time, about about mm, 20 minutes my time. I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, the frog spawn has a bunch of these stringy things 
coming off of it, which in my experience means that it's under stress or under duress. Uh, it's like a defense mechanism kind of, and that's telling me that I released a whole bunch of not so great stuff into the water when I start ripping the cabbage leather off of the top rock. I probably should have read a little bit about this um, before I did it, but hey, maybe I have some content for a future video here. <laughs> if my whole tank happens to bite it. So I'm doing a quick water change very fast. Um, I have almost five gallons pulled out of the tank and I've got a five gallon bucket of fresh salt water ready to go. Um, I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna continue with cleaning. So I'm gonna end up probably removing about 10 gallons of water from the BioCube today. Um, but I'll give you guys an update here. Here are the corals. I put them in a bucket with some water and I'll get those downstairs and into another aquarium very soon after I get this water changed. All right, I'll be back. So as you can see, I've cut away a lot of the coral, um, freeing up a lot of room in the tank. However, the water is still pretty cloudy and this is over half an hour later. So I'm thinking that some of the toxins released uh, by the cabbage leather are still in the water. Hopefully it doesn't cause too much damage as I did a quick water change. Now I know this might be hard to see because the night lights have come on, but I dumped all of the cabbage leather coral pieces from cutting them off of the, you know, from in the bio cube. I put them in the upper tank of the fish tank tower and um, the upper tank actually needs a little work. I have a lot of cyano, uh, bacteria on the sand bed and on the rocks I need to clean it you know but these other tanks I need to clean them too this guy needs clean um, the coral are looking okay but the rocks need clean and same with down here um, these tanks are a little more crowded so that's why I decided to put it in the upper tank but uh, you know we'll we'll see if it takes hold and if it starts to look like it's uh, gonna survive so uh, all right y'all I will catch you on a future fish tank guy vlog. Peace!